Hello and welcome to Codels column. My name is Sunny Solanki and in today's video I will explain how to create bullet chats using Python data visualization library Matplotlib. We will be creating chats in Jupyter Notebook. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter Notebook open and at the beginning of the notebook I have included a few sample images showing different uh, bullet charts. So bullet charts are commonly used to visually represent or track performance against a particular target by displaying results in a single column. So as you can see over here in the second image, the monthly revenue is uh, tracked. So as you can see the currently monthly revenue has reached 82k whereas the target is 90k. Okay, so there is another example which represents website downloads where we can see the uh, value has reached till around 80 to 82 K whereas the monthly target is 90 K. Here is the another example where bullet chart is compared with gauge chart. So uh, bullet chart is an alternative chart for uh, gauge chart as well. And here is another one more example where we are displaying bullet charts and five different uh, quantities are represented using bullet charts. So there are five on different bullet charts in this one chart so right so let's create a bullet chart uh, for ourselves using matplotlib and we'll be trying to create a bullet chart which i have included in this image the first image so we'll try to create this bullet chart right so first of all i will import matplotlib and print the current version which is installed on my system so this is the latest and stable version and next in the next cell i have uh, colors so i have retrieved the colors which are there in that uh, bullet chart so over here as you can see there are five five bars one two three four five all of them are different colors so these colors i have represented over here using hash code so let's uh, get started with coding so first of all i will import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt will be creating charts using pi plot api first of all i will create a figure object and i will set figure size to around 20 by 4 and i will store it in figure object next i will create a axis object so i will call figure dot add subplot so here we have a uh, axis object so in order to create a uh, vertical bar uh, horizontal bars i will be using plt dot bar h method and for y axis the values will be zero because all the bars will be displayed next to each other so as you can see the value will be zero and let's consider this green as first bar light green as second bar yellow is third bar light orange is a fourth and orange is a fifth bar so all of them has a same y-axis value only x-axis value will change so we have five bars so i need to say zero five times and the width of all the bars i will set to two so two two so it is a five times two each bar has a length of two or we can say width of two and then we need to specify left of each bar so first bar will start at zero position so as you can see over here first one this green one will start at zero now the second light green one will start at two and width will be two yellow one will start at four and width will be two and light orange one will start at uh, six and the length of width will be two and the last one will start at eight so let me do that 0 2 4 6 and 8 and i will set color to colors that we have calculated so let me execute this cell and show you how our initial chart looks so as you can see our, we have our initial chart ready so as you can see this one looks exactly like this one now we have to add this black bar and this line so let's add that black bar as well 
So that I will add using bar h method only. Location will be zero, and the width of this bar will be. Let's set it till six point five, because as far as I can see, the black one seems to be going till sixty five percent over here. So let's set it till sixty five. 6.5 in our case and color i will set to black so let me execute this cell and then i will modify the height of this bar as you can see now this black bar is overriding our original bar so what i will do i will reduce the width to 0.4 because this uh, width seems to be uh, around 1 if you see it's going from minus 0.4 to plus 0.4 so i will set width of the black bar to 0.4 not width i need to specify height so yeah now this one looks better as you can see so let's go ahead and add that vertical line so that we can add using plt.vlines method and uh, plt.vlines method accepts x value and y mean and y max so x i will set let's say we are at uh, 6.5 so 65 percent the target t is 90 percent so i will set value at 9.0 y mean i will set so as you can see this is going from minus 0 0.2 to 0 0.2 so y mean will be minus 0 0.2 and y max will be 0 0.2 color i will set to black and line width i will set to 5 so it's a bit uh bit darker so let me execute this one so as you can see we have our uh, vertical line in our chart so i i think we are almost done with our bullet chart let's go ahead and modify x and y axis text labels and uh, chart title first of all i will say x label percent t dot title i will set to bullet chart location will be left padding will be 15 pixel on size will be 25 Font weight will be bold. Let's copy this one and use it, it for X label as well. Let's use font size over here 16. So we have axis label, X axis label, and uh, title. So let's modify an X and Y axis text now. For X axis, I will go from 0 to 11. So I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 10 and the labels for those ticks will be 0 percent 10 percent 20 percent and so on so i will go for i in range of 0 to 101 1, increasing by 10 each time so i have 0 10 20 and so on so let me modify that percent dot format i so there we have modify x ticks let's modify y ticks as well so y ticks we have single value zero the label will be single string evaluation so let me execute this one and show you how the chart looks now right so as you can see now we have our chart ready so let me modify the evaluation text size a bit all right so here we have our uh, bullet chart ready now to improve the performance uh, not performance the look a little bit what i will do i will hide spines which are the lines around this chart the four lines so let me hide those lines bottom top left and right so you can call spines with this list of strings bottom top left and right which represents bottom line top line left and right lines and then on that you can call method name set visible 
and give it value false so it will hide these lines so as you can see now we have our bullet chart ready now if you want to improve the uh, the look even more little you can add theme to this chart so let's add a theme by calling plt.style.context method and i will use theme named 538 which is a commonly used theme so let me execute this one and show you how now it looks with this theme we have uh, provided theme with context manager with statement so as you can see now the theme has added a uh, gray background and you can see there are grids as well added i don't want grids so what i will do i will set plt.grid to false so grids are not present so yeah we, here we have our bullet chart ready and we created a bullet chart using simple calls to bar h method so that's it for today's tutorial uh, we covered how you can create a bullet chart using python data visualization library matplotlib and we created a bars of bullet chart using bar h method of uh, pyplot api of matplotlib so if you liked our video and if you learned something new today then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see you next time.